okay, it's like 5 a.m. And I couldn't go to sleep. So I decided to do this kind of unedited video. I don't know what I'm going to put it up, but we're going to have a little unedited moment with me. And so let's talk. I got a couple of things on my mind. I'm, I'm, this is going to be a short unedited Lulu for me, I think. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I got a couple of things on my mind. <laughs> Here's the first thing. Well, three things. Um, <laughs> I keep saying this, so I'm going to say it one more time and I'm putting it in this unedited. Um, I, cause I get this question a lot. So when it comes to layering, let's talk about layering. Um, layering. Now I know layering is the hot thing, especially in female frag. Com. I saw somebody ask this question in a facebook group about men you know hey where's the you know about men and you know how to find a, a group you know some information a group and about men's layering and i said honey that's a female thing you really ain't gonna find men really talking about layering and a man was like yeah she's right you know what i'm saying i mean you're gonna see a couple of men talking about it now uh, creators because they trying to like you know jump on the train right quick because they said let me jump on it quick before um you know and let me tell you something that i saw this is really interesting i've seen red lessons doing a lot of female um content on tiktok i'm telling you the female fracom is hot right now because red lessons is all over it i'm just saying anyway let me get back to what i was talking about so when it comes to layering Here's my thing. First off, I think it's excessive right now. I get it. We all into it. Oh, it's such a hot thing to do. I think it's really excessive right now. I mean, but hey, if you want to do it, go ahead. I, if, I mean, the whole, you know, two body creams, a lotion, three oils, you know, two perfumes and a body mist is a little a much every day. I feel like people are asphyxiating themselves, but that's just my thought. But what I keep saying is a fragrance should stand alone in your collection, in my personal collection. I feel like it has to stand alone. Now, what I mean by that is I'm not going to hold on to something if I feel like I need to add something to it in order to want to wear it. So when people be like, oh, just put on, you know, add something like a, a vanilla to sweeten it up. No, 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 no. If I can't just spray this on and wear it and like it, then I don't want it. So that is a criteria for me to keep something. I get it. People are like, well, no, you could just add a vanilla. I'm not doing all that. If I just cannot spray this shit on and wear it, just, just grab it and spray it, then it's not worthy for my, for me to keep. Now that's just my criteria. You can have whatever criteria you want, but that's my criteria. So yes, I do layer, but it shouldn't be a, the norm for me in order to walk out my door. I should be able to throw any fragrance on and not have to do that shit. So that I'm, I'm just putting that out here. I'm just putting it out here, just throwing that out here for the masses to understand. That's how I think. Okay, so that's that. And I'm just putting that out there. Now, with that being said, let's have a conversation. My next part of this conversation. Okay, on dupes. I believe in dupes. I believe in all the dupes. I believe in all the dupes. I believe in all the dupes. But... For me, I'm just not, I'm not, I, I, for me and my economics, I'm just out of the dupe game. Um, not because I have any problem with it. It's just that I just don't, I'm not, I'm not going to be chasing that. I'm not going to do any of that because it's just, I, it was cute and fun for a minute. But now it's just becoming um, a chore and I see it's just becoming redundant. It's becoming, you know, the latest fad and everybody's rushing to get it. And it is becoming overwhelming. It's, it's too much to be seen. It's just it's too much on my on my line. It's too much. You know, everybody's rushing to get the latest Middle Easterns and everything. And anything considered affordable has to be Middle Eastern. Every dupe is like, oh, everything's about the dupes and everything. 
or the brand new and it's just becoming a redundancy so i have jumped out of that fray even though it is a, it will affect my viewership you know i will not get the new viewers because that's all everybody's looking at right now now of course that means that i don't get a lot of new viewers i got y'all i got my whole squad i got my whole nation um because that is what is in um and people are sheep <laughs> they really are um but i'm gonna stand firm on that and the reason why is because it when it comes down to this because i'm not getting pr and i probably never will based on these conversations um this comes out of my pocket and a lot of these people this stuff is coming out of their pocket and eventually they're going to start they're going to start counting their chain their pockets their wallets their purses their credit cards and start feeling like oh my god plus the amounts that they're buying they're gonna you okay the declutters will be decluttering right but with the amounts that everybody's buying see here's the thing especially when you talk about these middle easterns everybody's buying them so who are you gonna declutter to everybody's buying them everybody's buying at such a rapid pace the brand new the shiny that it's gonna be hard to declutter some of this stuff i'm looking at it now in these facebook groups it's, it's becoming quite funny um and there so the backlash is going to come 2025 is going to be quite an interesting year huh, it's going to be quite an interesting year so i'm we're going to see how this rolls out let's see how it rolls out it's going to be quite funny um so i am going to continue on what i do and yes there of course there will be affordables but it will be the ones that i want to see look at which are you know different brands and the things that are out there that are in that range but aren't just sitting there with everything because listen you can see seventeen thousand videos about middle easterns and i am not and real talk there's a shelf life to doing these middle eastern you gotta be rushing out to pick them up you gotta be on those lists you gotta run and get them when they first come out you gotta hope to get them because everybody's talking about them it has now become the beauty game which means that you have got to be on you gotta be rushing to get them you gotta hope to get them quickly you gotta pay for extra express ship because see i know people are paying for that you got to try to help get on aroma concepts list you got to be you know and that's what's happening right in order to do these things in order to be able to um be able to continue your content well i'm not doing that and plus there's there's the whole dupe thing is now about to get is getting out of control so now everybody's going you know looking for the latest dupe oh what's this next dupe <sighs> i ain't got time for that so we're done with that if i find if i unintentionally get, find, get a dupe for something fine but i would rather give you content that is more original you know just interesting things more, because there's a world of fragrance out there and let's explore the world of fragrance and not get stuck in this one little corner of it that world now two things i want to say to the content creators this i've been seeing a lot and it drives me insane listen y'all <sighs> um what is up with this whole um trying to like something a fragrance even though you don't like it because it's popular. Oh my God. You know, like trying to tiptoe your way into liking something like for instance, maybe Delina or Blanche bet or something of popular fragrance and, you know, trying to figure out a way to like it or trying to, you know, hold, listen, you ain't gotta like something because everybody likes it. And they'll really be trying to figure out ways to like it. Like maybe I could, if I get this fragrance, it's similar to it. Maybe I like this fragrance. Even listen, just because the, the majority likes it, you don't have to like it. See, here's the problem with that. You are, you see the, the thing is, is that 
you should be able to say, I don't like it. It doesn't work for me. That's the whole point of doing content. It's not to say that you like everything that everybody likes that makes it popular. It's to say it didn't work for me. And here's why. Instead of trying to fit in with the popular crew, explain why it didn't work for you or why you don't like it. It's okay not to like everything. Instead of, I've, I've heard this numerous times and y'all know what I'm talking about. Like this whole I, I, I've got to, I've got to try it over and over again. Or maybe if I find a dupe, I'll, f I'll find a dupe that works for me. That maybe has a little twi little twist to it so that I can like something. I can like this, th this vid this type of this, this, this fragrance because everybody likes it. You ain't got to like that damn thing. You don't have to like it just because people are saying it's, it's, good and popular. You don't have to like it. It's not mandatory. There's not, there's not somebody in, in content creator universe saying, kick them out if they don't like this. Oh, oh, they don't like Delena. They got to go. Oh, oh, they don't like BR540. Mm -mm. Ban them, ban them, ban them. Stop doing that. You don't have to do that. Now, now I'm going to segue into this part of it. You don't have to wait for other content creators' opinions about a fragrance before you decide if a fragrance is good enough for you to try it out. I know this is like, what, what are you saying? I'm saying this because I hear this often. Like when fragrances, especially when people are talking about these new fragrances, because now we're doing the, you know, talking about the fragrances that are coming out and people are saying, well, you know, I'm going to wait to see what people are saying. Why? See, here's the thing about this. You are a content creator. And the whole point of this is that you are creating content and you are telling the people who are watching you who value your opinion because they watch you what you think. So why is your opinion have anything based on what other people think? If you want to try something, then try it and decide what you think about it. Because by, by waiting for people's opinions, you are putting an inherent bias of what your expectations based on these people that you've decided their opinion matters, which makes no sense because the whole point is you're a content creator just like them. What makes their opinion better than yours, more important than yours? It doesn't. They doing this, they are doing the same thing as you. It just so happens that they might be more popular for you than you at this point, for whatever reason. It doesn't make their opinion better than yours. It doesn't make them um, more um, them a more expert than you. It just so happens more people listen to them because let's be honest, none of us are experts. We're just people buying or getting things and talking about what we think about these things. Let's not get it twisted. So stop deciding and making your decisions about fragrances. I'm talking about fragrances or whatever your genre is, whatever you're doing on this platform, stop making your, or whatever platform you're doing it on, stop making your decisions on what contents you do based on what other people are doing. See, I get it because it's all based on trends and, and, and the trends are, are driven by the popular people. But sometimes you can get ahead of the trends just by doing what you choose to do. And if you see new things coming out and you're interested in them, try them. You could be ahead of the trend. I just, th th that boggles my mind. It just really does. Like I've always told you all, I like y'all, but I don't listen to y'all for opinions. I don't listen to your opinions. It doesn't make a difference whether you like this Guerlain 
it doesn't matter to me what you say about lipstick rose one of my decisions to buy it i've never listened to anybody's decision on what they said about lipstick rose in order to purchase it i looked at the notes i said mm, i think i want to get it now later on after i got in and tried it i might listen and say oh, okay interesting that's what they thought but my decision and my thoughts on it were not based on anyone's thoughts on it why because it had to come from me and your your opinion should be your opinion not based on oh okay well this person said it was good this person said it was good let me go try it no you are a content creator with just in your opinion is just as important has just as much value so give us your opinion not some watered down opinion based on five different popular people not based on all these other people's opinions because you think their opinion is more important than yours it is not yours is just as important and use your opinion above all others and then listen to theirs so please stop saying that you're waiting for some other people's opinions before you decide to do something go get you a sample fucking decide for yourself and then listen to what they have to say fuck them they're not important you are all right that's what i had to say i know that was unpopular i usually am all right y'all talk to you later